One way to do vegetables is to roast them, and it's so easy. You just basically preheat your oven, you cut up some vegetables, and toss them with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper, and then you bake them. It's almost better than steaming them sometimes because all the sugar in the vegetables kind of condenses so they get a more intense flavor. You can add some asparagus. And these guys don't need to be cut too small because they kind of cook a little bit faster than the carrots. Potatoes I'm gonna do separately because they're the slowest ones. And you can even roast cauliflower. Cauliflower can get a little bit watery if you oversteam it, so sometimes roasting it is a nice way of doing it. And then I'm just gonna separate them into small little trees like this that the children can pick up with their hands. And now we're gonna just take some olive oil and drizzle it all over these veggies. Some salt, pepper, and you can even put a squeeze of lemon. We're gonna toss this up just to make sure that all the vegetables get coated in the olive oil. And it's ready to go in the oven at about 350 degrees until it's cooked. So with potatoes, they cook a lot slower than vegetables like carrots or cauliflower, so you have to put them in a separate bowl. And basically, if you want them to cook faster, cut them into smaller cubes. If you have a bit of time, then you can cut them into wedges or bigger chunks. And I like to add a little bit of rosemary, which smells so nice and just makes me feel like I'm somewhere in Greece or the Mediterranean. And then I'm just gonna basically take some of these little green leaves and pull them off and drop them in here. And they'll basically kind of infuse the whole dish of potatoes with a nice rosemary flavor. You could use dried rosemary if you, if you don't have fresh rosemary. You could leave the rosemary out and it would be good, or you could just use black pepper. I've lined this pan with foil just so that it's easier to clean afterwards. Give them a shake, and that's gonna go in the oven.